guys, it's Kendra. So it is Wednesday and I am leaving acupuncture right now. It went great. I took a very long nap and acupuncture for me is always the best when I go into a deep, deep sleep. I feel like that's when the needles work their magic. Yeah, that was a really good session. I am on my way to get my car washed right now and fingers crossed that it stays clean because every time I go get my car washed, it rains. It did rain this morning, but I don't think it's gonna rain for the rest of the day. And if it does, Kelsey and I are going to Trader Joe's later, but um, I think she's gonna drive and my car is gonna stay in the garage. So I'm hoping that the weather is good for the rest of the week, but I really need it washed. It needs a good wash. The inside of my car is pretty clean. It never really gets dirty except like my mats and stuff. I have to shake those out sometimes, but I hardly ever have to like vacuum the inside of my car because no one's ever in here except Kelsey when we just alternate whoever drives. I was gonna go to Starbucks cause I was craving like a chai tea, but like a hot one cause I was cold on the way to acupuncture this morning cause I've been air drying my hair in the car and I wanted like a hot tea or something. Even though I can probably just have some tea when I get home, which is why I skipped Starbucks today because it's unnecessary. I feel like I've been washing my hair so often lately because I've been using so many new hair products. And this entire month I've been experimenting with styling creams. You guys know I like gel for my curly hair. I've been using creams in my hair and I have not been so lucky so far with a good styling cream. I'm gonna show y'all when I get home the ones that I've been um, trying out that haven't worked for me. Um, and I really had high hopes for them, but yeah, they just weren't for me. And I'm gonna have to find something else to pair with them, like a gel or a mousse or something, because it, it just wasn't working out. And yeah, I've been washing my hair often, which is fine because I think my hair has been doing better the more I wash it, because I used to be like a co-wash person and then like a shampoo once a month kind of person as much as i love my gels i just wanted to try something new and see if my hair even likes styling creams because i want to switch it up you know but if i can't find a styling cream i'll just stick to using gels but i just want to know if there are any good ones out there for me I just left the car wash. Look at those clouds. It's okay. My car is still clean. It's okay. This is not going to steal my joy. Okay, so I realized I probably should have said that it never rains when I get my car washed. Yeah, I probably should have just said that. I'm getting gas right now. Hold on. So yeah, I probably should have said that and not said what I said because you guys, your words have power. And every time you say something, it, it exists in reality. So whether it's good or bad. Okay, so I'm back home and I have some styling creams I want to show you guys that I use if you guys are curious. Because I'm sure these will probably work for people who like creams, just in case. And also what suggestions you guys have for other creams. Um, but this is the first one. This is from Eden Body Works and this is the Curl Defining Cream. And I really wanted to try this because Kelsey used to be obsessed with this styling cream. This is like a one product wash and go kind of styling cream and it says a medium hold. For some reason my hair felt very dry when I used this. I don't know if it was because it was coconut oil but my hair does really well with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus line so I'm not sure what it is about this product in particular that made it dry because I know coconut doesn't do well with some textures like coconut oil but this my hair didn't like this so I don't know if I should just pair it with a good leave-in conditioner then this then a gel or if I should just just not use it at all I might just give this one to Kelsey because I don't know if this is for my hair so yeah not sure but Kelsey used to love this stuff so the next one that I tried was this one from Carol's daughter and this is from their newer line. It's called Born to Repair. This is the defining cream with shea butter and babasu oil. I really love this. Like when it was going in my hair, it does a really good job at like detangling. It's really like nourishing. Like it feels like really moisturized in your hair. And I love the way this smells. It smells so good. I do have the shampoo and conditioner to this as well, which I haven't tried yet. 
I'm gonna find a gel in my stash that um, pairs well with this. It's so gloomy out. Next, I have this product from Myel Organics, and this is the Avocado and Tamanu Anti Frizz Perfector. And this product, I saw a lot of people try this. Like, I watched videos before getting this. And you're supposed to put it in the fridge. I think this whole line is like a put in the fridge kind of line. It says cold application technology. And let me tell y'all, I paired this with the leave-in conditioner from the same line. And first of all, the smell is amazing. I love the way these smell. It's like really clean and like refreshing smelling, not too fruity or too floral. They're just really pleasant to smell. They're not too strong. And I love the way this felt going in my hair. Like if you have tangles that leave in with this, so, so good, but my hair dried frizzy. Same with this, my hair dried frizzy. Like it was not defined enough for me. Um, and it sucked because I love the way both of these felt going in my hair, but that just probably means that I just need a gel over top to define my curls more and help tame the frizz better. I will give this a try again with the leave-in conditioner and a gel, but I really like the way this felt like, cause I think the cold was supposed to help with the frizz. I'm sure that's the technology behind it. Like the, the cold temperature is optional. It doesn't say you have to use it cold, but it does suggest that to refrigerate it, to chill, that's what it says. And I did do that along with the leave-in conditioner cause both of them say that on the packaging. And I liked my hair when it was wet, kind of. Now that I'm thinking back, it wasn't how it looks when my hair is air drying with a gel. So keep that in mind. If it's don't look right wet, it's not gonna look right dry. But I still wanna use this with a gel or a mousse. It might work with a mousse. So we shall see. I haven't tried a mousse yet. Kelsey has been experimenting with mousses. So we shall see. So I'm gonna eat something. I'm not that hungry. I've been intermittent fasting lately. Like when I first get up, I'm never hungry but i'm just gonna have, have lunch later right before kelsey and i go to trader joe's because we still need to go because i want to make my go-to tuna that i make every summer i don't know if i've made it on our blog before and i know tuna is not like the best like the healthiest thing but it's so good i love having tuna wraps tuna sandwiches tuna with crackers it's like one of my favorite go-to things to have in the summer because it's light, it's not too heavy, and the way I make it is really, really good. So um, I forgot eggs last time I got like all my ingredients for it, so I'm gonna do that. But today's video is sponsored by Factor, so thanks so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Looking for calorie conscious options this summer? Try delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. Need an extra boost to support your wellness goals this summer? With Factor, try Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. Also, if you want to budget this month by cutting back on takeout, get Factor instead. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. With Factor, you can rest assured you're making a suitable choice. So this one is one of my favorites because I absolutely hate cooking chicken like on my own. So this herb crusted chicken one is so, so bomb. Of course I love green beans. It's one of my favorite veggies to eat with a lot of my meals. So green beans are always a good go-to, but the chicken though is really creamy. It's not like too salty. This one isn't spicy. So if you're not into spicy, you'll love this one. Last night I did have the turkey chili and zucchini, which is on the spicier side. So if you do like spicy, that's another really good one. And I also like that it's turkey chili because I don't always like to eat a lot of red meat, especially during the week. So if you guys want to try some of the Factor meals, head to Factor75.com and use the code GLAMTWINSTV50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, head to Factor75.com and use code GLAMTWINSTV50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Okay, so just got back from Trader Joe's and I'm going to do a very quick Trader Joe's haul. I'm not going to bore you guys in detail with everything because we do quite a bit of uh, Trader Joe's hauls on our channel or we have in the past and you guys have seen a lot of the stuff. So yeah, got some water, very boring, but our water filter needs to be replaced, so we just needed some um, fresh water. Got some olive oil, this one's for my hair, this one's for cooking. These are Kelsey's favorite gummy bears. These, not gonna lie, are so, so good. Are these gluten-free? Mm -hmm. These are gluten-free, so if you ever see these, 
tiny gummy bears. These, so addicting. They have like a tropical taste to them. Yeah, it's a, every time I eat burgers on here, it's my stomach hurts. It's not called Haribo, Kelsey. It's not Haribo? It's called Haribo. Well, they make my stomach hurt. So. These don't make her stomach hurt like the Haribo ones. She probably, we're both probably saying it wrong. You, she had five of those. We don't go back that often, so. Yeah, that's true. Cause we don't stay, we don't live very close to our Trader Joe's, so. And then Kelsey got this for, so we don't order takeout. We like to have things like this in the freezer so we don't get fast food. Got some frozen fruit cause we're running out for our smoothies, two things of blueberries, two things of pineapple. These carrots are for our dinner. Vegetable fried rice for the takeout replacement again we don't like to eat fast food a lot so we like to have stuff like this in the freezer so we'll eat like this together and that makes like a good you know a meal we always like to have some kind of french fries in our freezer got some greek yogurt we haven't tried this one yet kelsey got this one because she wanted to try with bananas this greek non-fat yogurt the vanilla flavor this is my favorite Greek yogurt. I got some raspberries because uh, I really like raspberries with uh, this honey Greek yogurt. If you guys have not tried this one, I can't tell you guys how much I love this one enough. It's so, so good. And I like it with um, lemon curd, the Trader Joe's lemon curd. This, these raspberries with this Greek yogurt honey, bomb. With lemon curd, so, so good. Kelsey got some mangoes. I got some peaches. It's finally peach season. Peaches are my favorite fruit. So got some of those. Got some ginger tea. This Yogi brand is one of my favorite tea brands. Even though I think I'm pretty overstocked on tea right now. The amount of tea I have in our tea cabinet is ridiculous. These are Kelsey's olives. I don't eat green olives. Um, these are my cashews. These are my favorite snack um, to have, especially during the week. They're like a chip replacement so that I don't eat chips. So I like to have these. This is Kelsey's turkey jerky. I have this sometimes, but I haven't been eating meat as much as Kelsey, um, just cause I haven't been um, liking how it digests in my stomach. So except fish, uh, fish I'll have like every week. These bananas are Kelsey's. I kinda wanna try that vanilla Greek yogurt with the bananas like she said, so I, I might try that today. I um, got some spinach. This is gonna go with our dinner, I think. Turkey bacon, salmon. This Atlantic salmon is really good with the lemon butter. It's very good. This is frozen. I do like the regular, the barbecue cut ones too. Those are like in the regular fresh uh, fish section, but these are also really good too. I still add my own seasonings to this. I don't just eat it with just the lemon butter. I still put my own seasonings on this. Got our eggs, cause Kelsey also has some um, a box of brownies, organic brownies she got. Um, and we need to make those and I got some, I need to boil two of these for my tuna because I said I was gonna make my tuna probably tomorrow. Got some red potatoes. Uh, red potatoes are our favorite potatoes to make. We just like to dice these up, put them in the oven. I think these are for our dinner tonight with those carrots that I just showed you guys. And then these are all of our flowers, way too many flowers. We got some white hydrangeas for the kitchen table. I wanted to get some peonies today. I have never bought peonies before and I really wanted to see how they look like when they bloom. So I'm really excited to put these in my room. And then I always love to put roses in my room. You guys know the peach ones and the white ones are my favorite, but I thought like this mixture of like, like a peachy white pink was pretty. So I'm gonna put these in my other base in my room. So yeah, that's everything we got.
Okay guys, so here are my beautiful hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are my favorite flowers, um, but I still had one green one left over that still looks cute um, that I just added in with the white ones because green hydrangeas are actually my like number one favorite and then number two is the white ones, but I love green hydrangeas. I have some green ones in my room right now. I'll show y'all those later. These look like they're about to die a little bit, so I might need to refresh them. Right now I'm doing this little trick that I've done so many times where I just, cut the stem like at an angle like for hydrangeas you have to cut them like at an angle and you just soak them in water for like an hour or so and i've done this trick before and it worked so well the last like two times i did it so hopefully it works again um last time i did it like with uh longer stem ones like in my bathtub because i have like longer stem ones in my room so hopefully this works i'm just going to check on these in like the next hour and see how they look these are the ones that are in my room right now these are super pretty i think these are called shamrock shamrock hydrangeas the green ones um but these still have some time to go because you see the blue is not in the center but yeah these are just my favorite they're just so unique so pretty so i just added some more water to these and i'm just gonna put them back in my room okay guys so it is thursday and i'm getting ready to make some tuna for lunch and i just have all my ingredients out here and i decided to show you guys how i make it i don't want to you know bore you guys with prepping all the things that i put in it that need to be chopped up so i just went ahead and prep my red onion and i boiled two eggs because i like the extra protein that the eggs give to this lunch option and um these are all the specifics that i like to put in it so as far as like the base obviously the tuna of course um i like just a uh, regular solid white tuna in water this one is from Trader Joe's. It's the albacore tuna in water. And it really doesn't matter the brand. Everybody's different with the brand they like of tuna. Um, but the Trader Joe's one is good. I'm not picky with the brand of the tuna as long as it's in water because I prefer in water, not oil. So I just went ahead and opened all four of these and drained them. I always drain them before I put them in my little glass Tupperware thing that I like to make it in. So I do that. And then I like to add my veganese mayo. This is vegan mayo. I do not like regular mayonnaise because it's too much. Um, the egg in it makes me nauseous and Kelsey also doesn't like that. So this is the one we like. And then I have some sweet relish here. It really doesn't matter the brand either as long as it's sweet relish because it gives it a nice sweetness. Uh, I also like to add some shredded carrots to give like a veggie addition. Sometimes I like to add cucumbers with the carrots, but today I'm just going to do shredded carrots. And of course, I just showed you guys the onions and then the eggs. And then as far as seasonings, I actually do the seasonings after I put the actual tuna in. And I like garlic salt, some black pepper, and then I like to do paprika. So that's what I'm about to do. And yeah, I'm just gonna mix everything together. So I'm done and that is how I make my tuna. Typically I will have this with crackers or I will have it on like toast or something. Just depends on my mood. I am gonna put this in the fridge for like 
five minutes and then I'll eat it. I like it a little more chilled. Like it's obviously not warm, but I like it like on the colder side, which is why I like to put it in the fridge first. And this lasts about two days. If it sits in the fridge longer than two days, it doesn't taste as good. So it tastes the best when it's fresh. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing, but it's so, so good. If you are a tuna lover, if you like, you know, if you like tuna salad or any kind of chicken salad, you would like this, like the flavors. So I highly recommend and let me know how you like it if you did try it. Hi guys, so today's Friday. Um, Kendra is out running errands and I'm here and I'm about to open some PR packages that we should have opened months ago. Um, some of these are newer packages that recently came like last week and some of them have been sitting in the office for like the past month. I personally like to wait till there's like a nice bunch and then open them like all together versus like opening them as they come, you know? Um, Sorry, I just wanted to sit you guys down actually right in front of the packages, so I'm gonna have to move you in a minute. Um, but I've decided that since we have this nice credenza now, you know, this nice credenza, that every time this side is full or almost full, that we should go ahead and open the packages and that will help to limit the procrastination of opening PR packages, you know? And plus, like last year, we had to ask to be taken off of some PR list because I don't want to be wasteful like I don't want to keep receiving packages from brands that I wasn't using so I you know I had to tell my mom slash manager to take us off some PR list because I find it very wasteful when people just continue to accept products that they're not even using. First package is from Garnier. This is from their whole blends line and I have used whole blends a few times. I like their olive oil collection though like the olive oil whole blends line. Oh, this is their Whole Blends Hair Honey Repairing Serum. Yeah, this is the repairing serum. Huh. Repairing serum up to 94% of split ends. Y'all know how I feel about repairing serums for like split ends because I personally believe that you should cut off your split ends. Nothing's going to repair your split ends like starting over. So yeah, but this is the serum. I'll probably give it a try. Because I do like honey. Honey is one of my like my favorite ingredients to use for my hair. By the way, my hair doesn't look that bad today. This is actually five day hair from the most recent reel that I did. Not reel, but the most recent short that I did. But yeah, this is like five day hair from the most recent short that I did. I used some of my Yale Organics products. So if you guys haven't seen the finger coiling short on the main channel, that is what's in my hair. So go over there and watch that short. <laughs> I think I see Redken. Yeah, this is from Redken. Oh, what is this? I don't know. We have been using Redken for like seven years. This is their acid bonding collection. So it just comes with a shampoo, a lightweight liquid spray conditioner, and then a leave-in treatment. I feel like everybody has been like big on like bonding care ever since like Olaplex has taken over like TikTok. And me personally, I'm not the biggest Olaplex girl. I know a lot of people love Olaplex, but I feel like their formula hasn't been the same since they um, expanded their products into like Sephora and are they in Ulta? I don't know if they're in Ulta, but when Kendra and I used to only buy it at um, Cosmoprof, which is like a Sally's, but for cosmetologists, um, I feel like their formula hasn't been the same since then. And that was like years ago. Um, so ever since they put their formula in like Sephora, I don't know, Olaplex has just not worked the same to me. I feel like they're, a lot of their products are watered down and they just have a bunch of silicone in them and they give the illusion that your hair feels and looks better, but it's honestly just a coating that is put on your hair. They, their products weren't giving the same after like I bought it again once they got into Sephora. So I don't know, maybe they changed the formula to make more of the product, but I peeped it and it's just not for me. So yeah, these are specifically acidic bonding concentrates. So I am gonna do more research on that. Ooh, got something from Aveda. And I also always have an extra bag for like confetti or something or bubble wrap or those foam things that make me uncomfortable. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They look like cheese puffs, but they don't 
feel like or sound like cheese puffs. Am I the only one that is bothered by those little white things in packages? They make me want to grind my teeth together. So, from Aveda, let's see what this is. Oh, I love this line. So we did a partnership with them, I think like last year with this line. Their Nutriplenish, I love their Nutriplenish products. Super moisturizing, great for all hair types. So this is their Nutriplenish leave-in conditioner. And then this is their Replenishing Overnight Serum. So I think this is a newer product from this line because I haven't heard much about this Replenishing Overnight Serum. So I'm excited to try this. Hmm, these are cute clips. These cute little clips. These are so cute. They make me want to go to Hawaii or something though. Actually, I'm going to use one now because my hair is getting on my nerves. Every time I buy like claw clips, they always break in my hair. But this one, okay. All right. What we got here? Ooh, Kendra and I was just talking about some more of this KP body scrub here. So. I needed another backup of this, so this came in perfect timing. You guys know this is my favorite body scrub at Sephora. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's great if you have sensitive skin, if you don't like a lot of fragrance in your body scrubs, this is the one for you. It's amazing. Um, it's very similar to the KP Duty. I don't know if you guys ever used that brand before, but it works pretty much just like that, um, but it's less abrasive. Ooh, something else I love these ingrown hair pads with VHA and AHA. I love these things. These are great for like right after you get a wax or something. Um, I like to use these like two days, like after I get like a Brazilian and it really helps with ingrown hair. So like when your hair starts to grow back, maybe a couple of weeks later, it's really good to go ahead and use these like two days after your wax so that you don't have any ingrown hair so that it's nice and smooth down there. Huh. They have chafing products, anti-chafe stick with shea butter. Okay guys, so next we got a package from Wishful um, Huda Beauty skincare line. Um, I've tried a few products uh, like a, a Hydra serum and it worked pretty well, like a standard like hyaluronic acid serum. 2% PHA and sea moss gentle foaming cleanser. Huh, sea moss has been like big over the past couple of years, really? Um, sea moss has been like big over the past couple of years and I'm not surprised people are putting it in everything, hair products, skincare products. Um, but this just has 2% gl gluconic acid. I haven't heard of gluconic acid. Um, sea moss extract uh, retains moisture. Then it has salicylic acid and willow bark to unclog pores. It also has coconut and amino acid um, to dissolve makeup. Ooh, Coconut usually makes me break out so I might not be able to use this. Oh, because I'm always down to try a new cleanser. I just be like scared to use like new leave-on products on my skin because I mean the obvious, I don't want to like get a reaction or break out from it. But yeah, this is the new cleanser. So if you've been looking to try a new like makeup removing cleanser, this might work for you. 92% agree thoroughly remove dirt, oil and makeup. Seriously? Get off my street. I have been enjoying the Fenty Beauty um, makeup remover. It has been nice. And then what's another balm I've been using? Oh, the new um, papaya cleansing balm from Glow Recipe. I've been loving that. I've actually been using that like every day, not just when I wear makeup. I've been using it to like remove like sunscreen, like as like a part of my triple cleanse. And I've been loving that um, cleansing balm. Um, next, we got something from Nioxin. This is a new serum, Ultimate Power Serum. So, I love a good Nioxin product. Benefits and clinical results. Notice less hair in their brush. Also notice reduction in hair breakage. So this is like an anti-breakage hair serum. So this is for stronger hair. Speaking of hair, mine is so dirty. I have like residue in the front. My hair needs to be washed. I told y'all this is five day hair, so. Oh, this is probably like a scalp product. Spray it on your scalp. Yeah, you're supposed to spray this on your scalp like after, you, after you're done wash and conditioning. So I'm trying to still be organized. So when I put all of this up, I'm not like overwhelmed. 
Ooh, one of my favorite products from Clarins. Well, actually my favorite product from Clarins, which are their lip oils. I love their lip oils. So they sent three colors. They sent honey, which is this one. I've never tried the honey one before. I see a lot of people use the honey one. And then two of my personal favorites. I actually already have one of these in my purse. Well, two of my purses. I have like two of these already. The cherry. So this is like my personal favorite one. I love this one. And then this other one is number four. Pattaya. It's pretty. It's like a bubblegum pink. Let's try this one since I've never used this one before. Oh, it smells really good. Mm. Oh, it feels nice. These are like less thick and sticky um, from the Dior ones because the Dior ones I really like but those are a little stickier but they do last longer these you do have to reapply more throughout the day but if you prefer a less sticky formula like more lightweight and silky on your lips you're gonna prefer the clearance lip oils to the Dior ones and these are cheaper too so I love these obsessed yay and then I got a product from milk makeup I hope their Kush mascara is in here because that is like one of my favorite mascaras when I'm not referring to drugstore because I have a lot of drugstore favorite mascaras. But as far as like Sephora and like high end mascaras, I love the Kush mascara. Oh, I think I see you. Yes, it's in here. I'm obsessed with this mascara. This is their Kush mascara from Milk. I'm telling y'all, this mascara is top notch. It's amazing. I needed a new one because my old one dried out a while ago. I'm obsessed with this freaking mascara. It's amazing. So I love a nice like soft fluffy wand. I don't really like plastic wands because they make my lashes look clumpy. So obsessed. Ooh. They also sent their cleansing balm and I've heard a lot of good things about this one too. So I can't wait to try this next time I take my makeup off. And then one of my favorite primers. This is like one of the only primers I've been using for real. This one is the Hydro Grip. I love this so much. This is good even if you have oily skin because it leaves like a tacky finish on your face so that the makeup actually stays, but it doesn't make you oily throughout the day. And it's moisturizing as well. So I love this primer. So. Yeah, this is a really good primer. I just sent a, what is this? Eyeliner, two blushes. I've never used their blushes before because I see people actually put this like stuff like on their face, on their cheeks, but I break out when I do that. So I probably have to like put my brush on it and then put it on my face. Cause I always cringe when I see people like use like stuff like this and they like put it directly on their face. I know you're using it on clean skin, but I just think it's like not hygienic. <laughs> So I prefer to use my brush with like um, stick products, me personally. We've got something from Loxiton. This next box is a little bit bigger. So what is a foaming cleansing cream? Because I do enjoy a cream cleanser for when I'm double cleansing. Cleansing balm, another cleansing balm. I love cleansing balms. They're just the best to like take off the day, like your sunscreen, all the oils from the day and of course to remove your makeup they're just way more efficient in my opinion we'll be giving this a try so i'm sure this works well with the cleanser of course this is like a mousse cleanser and this is the balm so double cleanse and then me personally i will put a gel cleanser in the third step and then we got one more little box that is this oh this is nice packaging this is like feels like linen this is their Almond Delight Mist. Oh, this is a mist. Indulging Almond and Citrus Scent Protects and Softens 8-Hour Hydration. So this is from the same line as one of my favorite products, which is their In Shower Oil. I love that stuff. It's amazing. But this is a new body mist. It is apparently supposed to be moisturizing as well. Because some body sprays have a lot of alcohol in them and they're kind of drying. Yes, this smells like the in-shower body oil. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's like a fresh, clean scent with a hint of citrus. Oh, this is a nice, really nice fragrance. 
have one more box from Ajua Beauty. Nice big box. Ooh. Oh my gosh. They must have watched my vlog. Oh my gosh. They sent four of this melon berry gel. Y'all. Y'all know I was raving about this gel a few vlogs back. Their new melon berry smoothing gel. I'm obsessed. It's such a good gel. It's lightweight but still gives great hold and it smells like Jolly Rancher. And they also sent one of my favorite leave-ins, which is the Melon Berry Hair Milk. Obsessed with this stuff as well. So they sent some mini ones and then two big ones. Thank y'all so much, Ajua. This is like one of my favorite parts of my job, opening PR. So low key, that's why I also wait till there's a lot of packages because it just feels like Christmas day. So I'm so grateful. So yeah, I'm gonna go put all of this stuff up. This battery's finally flashing at me, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Yeah, get organized and take all this stuff outside to the recycle and then do my nails because they look atrocious. Oh Lord. All right. Hi guys, happy Saturday. Oh, I thought I saw my neighbor's dog taking a crap in my yard. Cause I've seen that before. But yeah, today's Saturday and I'm about to get ready to dye my hair, but I have to run to Sally's right quick because I thought we had two extra boxes of hair dye um but yeah we don't have any extra hair dye there's a garnier box of hair dye under the sink that kendra had from, from a while ago but i think it's old and i don't even use like drugstore hair dye on my hair at all um because it doesn't last like i feel like it fades super fast um so i just rather use like a salon brand i have a lot of brown in the front of my hair right now compared to my ends my ends are still, of course, black from the last time I dyed it, but my hair has grown out so much. I feel like everybody goes into Sally's like this because they need something to do their hair. So I just threw it up in a clip and it looks a mess, so. So I'm back and I'm about to get ready to set up. I need to put some towels down. Sally's, they have these brown paper bags now. So the brand that I got, I've never tried before, but Kendra has tried this brand before. So I hope I like it. Cause she said she likes it. She's used it a couple times. Um, this is from the brand Zotos, H Beautiful. So this is the one I got blue black 1b blue black um so this formula does have biotin in it um it just says proven to fight all five signs of aging hair permanent anti-aging hair color so i do get some grays in the front so hopefully this helps with that so i just got three boxes and then i just got the same brand developer i usually do 20 volume if you dye your hair any darker color like a black or a brown you can do 10 developer but i like doing 20 developer if i have a blue black hair dye because it brings out the blue a tad bit more and that's the whole point of getting a blue black hair dye and i just feel like it looks richer um so that's why i do 20 developer but you can just do 10 and be fine i don't know it just takes way longer to dye my hair when it's curly but hopefully this this doesn't take too long so yeah we're gonna see how this actually helps you know my grays because i've been like getting gray hairs for a long time i think i told y'all i got my first gray hair at 13 or 14. i was in eighth grade and i remember one of my friends was sitting behind me she was like girl you got a gray hair in the back of your head and i was like what and she like pulled it out for me and like showed it to me and ever since then i just stopped caring that i was graying it's not that big of a deal to me um, i'm not surprised that i started graying at a young age because i've always been a overthinker there's a thin line between overthinking and stressing. So yeah. I used to dye my hair in the beauty room bathroom, but ever since um, we repainted it, like we refreshed the paint in there um, on the walls and on like the drawers, I don't wanna 
dye my hair in there again because I don't want to like get it all dirty or whatever. So now we literally <coughs> need some water. So now we only use that sink to wash makeup brushes. So plus I have more space in, in my bathroom and yeah, as long as I put towels down, I'm fine. I've dyed my hair in this bathroom plenty of times, so yeah. crazy but um yeah I told you I wasn't gonna drag it all the way down to my ends because they don't need any color on them um so because they're still pretty dark from the last time I dyed my hair um so I just uh, dragged the color from obviously the roots to the mid so pretty much everything but the ends so I'm just gonna let this sit for like 25 minutes I'm gonna wash it out and then I'm gonna deep condition and I'm probably gonna let my hair mask sit overnight um because usually when I um dye my hair i like to let my hair mask sit overnight and i like to do a reparative mask so yeah i'll show y'all what i use after i wash my hair so i washed out my hair dye and i just shampooed i actually didn't even ooh, this is dripping um i actually didn't even condition my hair because my back was starting to hurt and i hate having to bend over to wash my hair because i'm used to washing my hair when i get in the shower um, but when I wash out hair dye, I don't like to do that because I hate getting color and stuff all over my body and it's way more messy. So um, so I only shampooed my hair. I just shampooed twice. I used the My Hair Organics Oats and Honey Blend Soothing Shampoo for Sensitive Scalp. I've been obsessed with this shampoo. This is like my third or fourth time using this. I think it's my third time using this and I really have been loving it. Like this is one of my new favorite shampoos. Um, the texture kind of reminds me of the Audra Beauty Blue Tansy shampoo. Like where well, it's it's a clear shampoo and it's clarifying, but it doesn't like strip your hair. Like your hair actually feels still nice and like silky once you rinse out the shampoo. It doesn't have like that annoying squeaky clean feel. And it actually cleanses the hair. Cause some shampoos um, do a good job at not stripping my hair, but then my hair doesn't feel that clean. So I feel like this one is a really nice balance of um, doing both. I'm just gonna be using the Audra Beauty Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. So this is one of my faves to use, especially after I dye my hair. So it does specifically say for damaged or color treated hair. So yeah, this is just a really good one to use um, if you dye your hair like every few months. And it's one of my favorite masks to use because it's probably one of the thickest masks that I've ever tried. And I've tried so many freaking masks. So the only time that I think it's okay to not use conditioner is if you're going right in with a hair mask like I am doing now. Cause like I told y'all, my back was starting to hurt. So just going ahead with this mask. Ooh, I'm getting water all over the floor. Okay. So I'm gonna put quite a bit because usually my hair tends to be on the drier side right after I dye my hair because hair dye is drying. It just is. So, and I'm gonna put oil over top of this to seal it in too. I'm just gonna use the matching oil of the Blue Chansey line.
am done applying the mask. Um, I told y'all this mask was super thick. Like I'm doing like this and it's not moving. So it does take a minute to work into my hair. Um, but over top of it, I'm just going to use this Blue Tansy treatment serum over top. So I'm almost out of this one. I need to get another one. So I don't always apply oil on top of my hair mask unless I just want a extra intense treatment. So I'm going to do a few pumps on this side just to seal in the mask just to make sure it's like nice and locked in while I have it sit overnight because that way my hair will be look nice and silky when I rinse it out tomorrow before I put my stylers in. Oh, 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 oh,